Welcome back to another Time Sticking YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about the material quartz and how it's used inside of watches and where it's found. So stick with us through this intro and we're going to get into the weeds with you a bit about this. Quartz itself is a silicone dioxide that's just as omnipresent as plastic, steels, and other materials in industrial use, which is not surprising considering that it's the second most common material in the Earth's crust. Although quartz is pretty easy to harvest, with some geographical locations like Arkansas and Brazil noted for their abundance, its vital use in modern technology requires quartz to be more available than the time it takes to dig it up. In relation to this reality, naturally occurring quartz isn't as pure as crystals that can be synthesized in industrial manufacturing facilities. So when you see quartz on a battery operated watch dial, it's very likely that the crystal inside or covering the dial was not a naturally occurring one. This is because the synthesis of commercial quartz, used in watches and otherwise, has led to much purer and more energy efficient crystals. These crystals can be made in large batches using techniques that work faster than the Earth's natural processes. They may not be as organic as the kale you get at Whole Foods, but these large batch synthesized crystals make it very easy and affordable to create multiple electronics as well as wristwatches and clocks. Within watches, quartz crystals, synthesized and otherwise, are put under pressure via battery power. This pressure causes them to put out an electric frequency of their own. Placing pressure on quartz crystals or any other substance to release an electric frequency is referred to as piezoelectricity. This frequency acts at regular intervals, so quartz crystals are great for regular and precise ticking on a watch. Because of this reliability, as well, quartz crystals are utilized in modern computing. When linked up to circuit boards, these tiny mineral crystals help regulate the flow of electric current while processing electronically coded information. Modern synthetic quartz outside of watches can be found in smartwatches, drones, AC units, televisions, digital cameras, and plethora more devices. Regular pressure on these crystals makes any onboard CPU built into any electronic device sing smoothly and consistently as it operates. Besides having an application internally in watches, clocks, and otherwise, quartz mineral crystals are also great as protective glass in industrial use. On watches, quartz crystals are the most commonly used material for watch crystals, quote unquote. We quote crystals in this case for some clarity. The part of the watch that covers the dial is, confusingly enough to some, also referred to as a crystal in horology, regardless of the material. Besides synthetic quartz being used for watch crystals, its other uses are similarly plentiful. Due to its toughness and clear visibility transmission, Quartz in quartz-like silicate glass is used as a see-through protective shield on car windshields, home windows, and various optical lenses. When synthetic quartz is manufactured for watches and these other uses, it typically comes out at 99.9999% purity. This purity is why synthetic quartz is more reliable for visibility and protective use. It makes the material harder and more crystal clear than naturally occurring quartz. Unfortunately, the naturally occurring crystals feature flaws like tiny cracks and fissures, which makes these earth-grown minerals more opaque and much more susceptible to further damage. Quartz crystals, especially the synthesized ones, are often referred to as the salt of industry because you can make several hundred thousand electronic components from a single synthesized quartz crystal. Japan is the current leader in manufacturing and distributing synthesized quartz crystals in modern manufacturing. However, the need for naturally occurring quartz makes Brazil and the U.S. state of Arkansas the highest producers of naturally occurring quartz on the market. The natural quartz is used in the process of synthesizing larger and more clear crystals. Coming in at a whopping 8 kilograms or more, many industrially synthesized quartz crystals require a fair amount of natural silica dioxide, aka quartz. By superheating the dug-up quartz alongside sheets of pre-synthesized material, manufacturers grow massive batches of large synthetic quartz crystals. This process can take up to six months to complete, so continued processing of these materials is vital in keeping up with modern demand for quartz utilizing tech, like watches and clocks, and otherwise. On a related side note, 
Different forms of quartz are naturally found and synthesized for more aesthetic reasons, often to the delight of many jewelry enthusiasts, but have no practical application in watchmaking or electronics. For fun, anyone who wants to try to synthesize quartz crystals can actually do it at home. All you need is a little bit of the natural silica dioxide or quartz mineral and a pressure cooker. But you have to be sure to do this just right, however, or you can end up with nothing but a gel. Quartz fascination can be enjoyed regardless of at-home synthesis as well. With plenty of deposits to be found all over the world, it's easy to become a rock hound and search out natural quartz crystals in your own backyard. Beyond rock hounding, it's easy to find synthetic relatives to this mineral material all over and within any commercial products you have in your home. At the very least, quartz is on your wrist anytime you're keeping quartz analog or digital time. All you have to do is keep an eye on your dial as it ticks in regular intervals to participate in the quartz club. As it stands, the rest of the modern world is there with you, watching the days tick away under the piezoelectric power of quartz crystals. Hello, and thanks for watching our YouTube video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, and you can find similar videos right here. For more new and interesting content from Time Sticking on our channel, please subscribe at the link here. And for more information about wristwatch repair and watch maintenance generally, you can find us at timesticking.com. Thanks so much, and have a great day.